Hello, everyone. Our group will talk about human motivation. This presentation will be about two theories and some suggestions. One of the most important studies about human motivation is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Maslow's hierarchy of needs can be divided into five parts, which are psychological need, safety need, love, learning need, esteem need, and self-actualization need, respectively. This series used to study how humans intrinsically participate in behavioral motivation. Each of these individual levels of contains a certain amount of internal feeling and emotion. The premise of completing these hierarchies is to satisfy these feelings and met these sensations. Another important theory about human motivation is Mike Salant's three motivation keys. The human motivation can be classified into three types. Need for achievement means an individual desire for a significant accomplishment. The achievement is affected by goals, result, and the proper feedback and results. Need for affiliation refers to a person's need to feel a sense of involvement and belonging in a social group or a community. There are three types of affiliate. The anxious and the cynical affiliates are both concerns about losing the involvement with others, like being rejected or distrusted. The positive affiliates are more like being good relationship with others. Need for power refers to power either to control others' people. Or try to influence others. The object of power is not only people, but also resources and enrichment. There are two kinds of needs for power. The first one is personalized power, which is self-centered and probably negative. The other is socialized power, which always related to the benefit of holding and can be positive. Based on this series,、uh, the basic way to motivate faculty follows some rules: fulfill different levels of human needs, reducing negative affiliations, and improving positive affiliates. As a leader, manager should pay more attention to the socialized power and the curb the personalized power of themselves. So the suggestions are around culture building, giving reinforcement, and empowering. For the suggestion part, we can apply human motivation to teaching. For example, first, nurturing a creative team and the innovation environment where every student will encouraged to contribute in the decision making cycle. Which will set their belonging needs in the process of participation. Secondly, it is necessary to respect the student's idea and the personal habit. The school should ensure student safety and the severely punish bully phenomenon.、Uh, strive to eliminate the bullying phenomenon. In addition, weekly psychological courses should be offered to ensure student mental health and their psychological health. Uh, thirdly, helping college students realize the connection between school and the social society and enhance their、uh, the sense of social responsibility. The school can provide a platform for students to display their、uh, talents or establish a special lecture about career planning to guide and clarify their、uh, career development direction. Thank you for your listening, all.